If you think it's hard to change the lives of 10 people, change their lives forever, you're wrong. I saw it happen every day in Iraq and Afghanistan. A young army officer makes a decision to go left instead of right down a road in Baghdad, and the 10 soldiers with him are saved from a close-in ambush. In Kandahar province, Afghanistan, a non-commissioned officer from the female engagement team senses that something isn't right and directs the infantry platoon away from a 500-pound IED, saving the lives of a dozen soldiers. But if you think about it, not only were those soldiers saved by the decisions of one person, but their children were saved, and their children's children. Generations were saved by one decision. One I'm trying to build people up. I'm trying to armor their mind. I'm trying to get them the belief. Because this world we live in is tough. It will beat you down. The world in the life that we live in is the ultimate competitor. It will try to take you out. It will find your weakness and it will just hammer you. If I can help you build belief, build confidence to the point where nothing can hurt you because you know exactly who you are. Do not let anyone, including your inner critic, convince you otherwise. Each and every one of us has the power to make our dreams come true. We have the power to shape our reality. You see, your destiny isn't something that happens to you. It's something you, you create. You build it one day at a time, one decision at a time, one action at a time. Yes, there will be obstacles. There will be doubters. There will be setbacks and there will be mistakes. But they are merely stumbling blocks on the path to your greatness. Let me remind you, it's okay to fall, it's okay to fail. Each fall, each fail is not a testament of your incompetence, but a step forward, a learning experience. They are your stepping stones, not your tombstones. Results. Results. Every once in a while, you gotta take a measure, see how you're doing with these three pieces, philosophy, attitude, activity. Now we take a measure called results. What is the result at the end of the day, the result at the end of the week? You can't let too much time go by without checking. Time goes by. Six years I'd been out there working when I met my teacher, Mr. Schiff. So I said, well, Mr. Rome, let's just go through a little summary here. He said, in the last six years, how much money have you saved and invested? Let's go through a little tab list here. How much money have you saved and invested in the last six years? I said, what? Zero. He said, you have messed up. You remember these notes. I like that. Messed up. He said, who sold you on that plane? I thought, my gosh, the man's right. I'm a nice guy. I bought the wrong plan. <laughs>